Are we pissing our pants yet? All right, people, so after months of anticipation, after months of speculation, The Walking Dead is finally back with its season seven premiere. So for those of you who know me personally, and those of you who've been following me for a while, you know that I am not the biggest fan of this show. I was a huge fan when it first started. Somewhere around the midway point of season three, it lost me. And ever since then, I've been on a constant roller coaster ride of just highs and lows and love and hate with this show. I feel like it manipulates its viewers, it blackmails them to come back, it sets up cliffhangers way too often, it relies on cliffhangers way too often, it's a 16 episode series that should only be 8 because they only have enough story for 8 episodes, yet they stretch it out over 16. I could go on and on on the things that I criticize this show for countlessly. And the season 6 finale brought me to my lowest point of enjoyment of this show that I have ever been on in 6 years. When that episode cut to black, I was walking around my living room like this. I knew when that episode started that the possibility of them ending on that cliffhanger was a very large possibility, but I had very much hope that they were not going to be that stupid, and they were not going to take advantage of their viewers like that, and they weren't going to be that cocky. I was wrong. So after months of bashing this show, after months of talking about how much I cannot stand how they blackmail their viewers to come back and come back without giving them enough resolution, and after months of talking about how really I don't care at the end of the day what happens in this show who dies, where it's going to go, I'm just going to sit down to find my answer, and maybe they'll surprise me. I have one thing to say about the premiere of Season 7. Holy shit. That was a premiere. We'll start off by talking about the one detail that everybody's going to walk away from this episode talking about. Who got the end of Lucille? Who Negan killed? Who is done and dead and gone from the Walking Dead cast forever. Now I posted a video on my old YouTube channel the day after that finale premiered. I'm talking about how pissed off I was and ending it with speculation of who Negan was going to kill and I had three possibilities that I thought were pretty much going to be the definite answer whenever the show came back in October. They were either going to stick through the comics and they're going to kill Glenn. They were going to divert from the comics and kill Abraham because the last half of that season had so much telegraphing about him possibly getting killed. He's already on borrowed time after that nurse got the arrow in the eye and not him. You know, they were setting up the whole love story with him and Rosita kind of going away and he's starting to look at Sasha. They did everything except say that he was on his last couple of days before retirement. And the third possibility was that it was going to be the guy from Alexandria that nobody really cares about. So when the scene finally comes after the first 10-15 minutes of dick teasing that this episode gave us and you finally get to see who was it, I was like, Damn, I knew it was going to be Abraham. Now, being the confident young man that I am, I was pretty unswayed in my opinion of Glenn or Abraham. So whenever the episode finally showed that Abraham got the end of Lucille, I was like, oh, okay. I expected that. It was pretty brutal. It was very gratuitous. They did not pull any punches. They showed every little bit of that guy getting his skull crushed and his last little spit in the face to Negan telling him to suck my nuts and Negan just continuously bashing him. That was all great. And I was like, well, you know, that was pretty brutal. I don't know if that was worth waiting seven or eight months for, but cool. Let's see where this episode takes us now. Little did I know that my other possibility was right around the corner. And man, when he hit Glenn with that first blow, I was shocked at how well they were able to recreate the look from the comics. When his eyeball was poking out and his head kind of had that caved in look to it, I was like, oh man. So I'll give you some props, Walking Dead. You actually thought outside the box. You did something that would really surprise a lot of people. You took some chances. You took a few notes from Game of Thrones and you pulled it off really well. Now, all that being said, I still hold true to my opinion that these deaths would have been much better served at the end of last season. They should have trimmed off some of the scenes of them going through the woods and getting blockaded by the saviors five or six times, and they should have saved an extra 10 to 15 minutes or even had an extended finale to show all this at the end of the whole eeny, meeny, miny, mo thing. It would have been way more effective. That whole buildup, that slow, just sinister speech that Negan gave at the end of last season had me on the edge of my seat. My heart was pumping. All of our hearts were pumping. And if they would have followed through and showed who Negan killed, Abraham, had all that gratuitous violence, everybody would have been at home losing their minds, and then they would have hit you with the one-two punch. Pow! Glenn's dead too, motherfuckers. 
people would have lost their minds on the internet. And the whole time that they've been waiting for this season to premiere in October, they would have been talking about this show in a positive light, not a negative light. Now moving on from the deaths, there's two people that I want to talk about who really raised this premiere to probably one of my favorite episodes of The Walking Dead ever. Andrew Lincoln and Jeffrey Dean Morgan. I've been championing Jeffrey Dean Morgan for years. I've loved that guy for so many years. Ever since he was John Winchester on Supernatural, I loved him in the different movies that he's popped up in, like Watchmen, even the little lesser known roles that he's done. I've always loved this guy. He's one of the most underrated actors in the world to me. This guy is going to take over The Walking Dead. He is going to be somebody that people are going to be talking about week after week. And whenever he decides to leave the show, because I don't think he's going to be a one season villain, he is going to walk away with amazing opportunities. That guy is going to get roles left and right, and I'm so happy about that. He was the driving force in this episode. He had so many good one-liners. He had so many good speeches. He was scary. He was funny. He was intimidating as hell. He broke down Rick from the strongest character in the group to a little bitch, and he did it having fun the entire time. You can tell Jeffrey Dean Morgan just loves this character. You know, He knew the character before he got the role. He was so excited to get the role. He knew exactly what he wanted to bring to it. And you can tell he is just chewing up the scenery. He is relishing in the fact that he is Negan. He is loving every minute of it. And so am I. Now, Andrew Lincoln, that guy gives probably the best performance that he has ever given in the history of The Walking Dead in this episode. I truly believe that. There's been a lot of scenes where he's gotten emotional before, but they've all turned into memes. Everybody knows the whole scene where he's bending over, Carl! That scene when Negan tells him that you are going to chop off your son's arm, just when he is slowly getting broken down to tears and he's begging and crying and screaming and begging. And even after he finds out it was all a ruse and Negan's got him by the throat and he's like, you belong to me, you work for me. And the performance that he gave in that scene was the most that I've ever been affected by Andrew Lincoln's performance in The Walking Dead ever. Now as far as negatives in this episode, I for one did not appreciate the way that they started the episode. The first 10 to 15 minutes was the typical Walking Dead dick tease. I even put on Facebook, oh, another dick tease, yep, The Walking Dead's back. They start off with that intro that they've already showed everybody online with Rick telling Negan, I'm going to kill you, it may not be today, it may not be tomorrow, and then he drags Rick into the RV. And then even though it's a really good scene between those two, it's a good mono a mono little battle of wills. That scene in the RV was just another distraction from the answers that everybody's been waiting for. That scene should have came later on. They should have opened with the end of last season, got to the point, and showed who died, and then just let everybody kind of emotionally just calm down the rest of this episode. But that's The Walking Dead. That's what they do. They like to draw things out. They like to dig tease. They like to leave answers for later. To wrap all this up, guys, I was shocked as hell at how amazing this premiere was. I thought they did a damn good job at pulling off those two deaths, even though I really still disagree with the way that they decided to do it, dragging all that out for eight months. It would have been much better served at the end of last year. I think they pulled it off well. And I, for one, am once again excited to be watching this show. It's the first time I've been able to say that in probably three years. I really want to see the aftermath of all the characters that are left standing, and I cannot wait to see more scenes between Negan and Rick. Those guys blew me away in this episode. So what did you guys think of The Walking Dead Season 7 premiere? Were you shocked by the deaths? Did you have them called already? Do you think that that would have served better last season? Or do you like the way that they dragged it out until this season? Put all that in the comment section below and let's talk about it. Please like and share this video and hit that subscribe button. That way you get to come back and see me next time. But if that's not soon enough to check out some more of my videos, you can check out a few more by clicking right over here.